Come in. I think we're a little bit fast. What was that flare? Going around, going around, going around. No! We're underwater and we're on fire, of course. Good morning, flight simmers. Welcome to... Well, you voted for it. Welcome to... The Caribbean. We're here at St. Bart's Airport this morning. I put a poll up on my social media account saying, which airport would you most like me to try and take off and land at? Oh, actually, I wonder how far can you go out here? Wow. Yes, I asked you to choose between Courchevel in France and St. Bart's in the Caribbean. St. Bart's won by a long way, and I can see why. It's a pretty tricky approach. I've got the vision jet here at the moment lined up. Let me show you. I've got to get over this hill. I've got to kind of come in down here, round this tree. This is going to be interesting. Round this tree without overshooting this runway and ending up down there in, in the wet stuff. The scenery is incredible in this thing. Now, a lot of you after yesterday's video, thanks for everyone who commented, by the way, uh, told me that I can download special meshes as well for airports. So I'm not just getting the scenery in the airports. I can actually get the gradients and the hills and everything, which was a little bit different to what we had at Lukla yesterday. Yes, if you're asking, I'm still using the mouse, as you can probably see at the moment. We've got the control tower. There's some other aircraft. There's some cars that are waiting. Oh, someone's in trouble. I wonder if I can blow the police cars over. Hang on. Nice. All right, ready? Sorry, police officers. How many thrusts? All the thrusts. Oh, well, that's a bit underwhelming. Suspect is in custody. Also, yesterday's donut seemed to go down very well, so just for you guys. No! The other thing I asked you to vote on was the aircraft type. This was a lot closer, I said, decide between the PC-12 and a TBM-850. Sorry, Steve-O, if you're watching this, mate. Everyone went for the PC-12. What are the sunflowers? And so what we're going to be attempting to do today, everybody, is to try and take off and land a PC-12. Actually, what are the speeds for a PC-12? I don't know that. A typical approach is 80 knots. With, I need to write this down. Ooh, so this is the PC-12. Let's take a look at it outside. Oh, yes. That is beautiful. I'm pretty sure the keys are going to be the same in that I've got flaps. Ah! Who's that? It seems I have a lady co-pilot. Good morning. A little bit heavy on the mascara there this morning. What's in your nose? Anyway, let's go flying. Oh, God, God here we go again. For those of you telling me to get a joystick, yes, that is obviously very good advice. Where are my speeds? Oh, we're just going to eyeball this. Away we go. It's really difficult doing this actually without any speeds whatsoever displayed. Okay, guys, this isn't going particularly well. I wanted this to be a really good demonstration of my flying skills to continually impress you whilst we're all stuck here in lockdown at the moment. But I think this shows my lack of preparation. Where's the airport? Okay, I've just quit that last flight because I've realized I can't fly without speeds. But what I've discovered in the interim is that my co-pilot has got, look, she's got, her monitor's working fine. Mine has broken. So we're gonna fly this one right seat. Head out the way. I can't just go through. Ah, look at this. This one is much better. All right, 30 knots, 40 knots, 50 knots, 60 knots. Wow, this thing moves, 70 knots. Up we go, up we go, up we go. Ah, up we go. Oh, you know what we didn't get? Didn't put any flaps out. Okay, that was a flapless takeoff, just to demonstrate great performance off the PC-12, everybody. A little bit close to that mountain. All right, that's good. Let's get rid of some speed then. Let's get some flap in. Let's drop the gear, why not? Okay, this is looking good. 500, over the hill, round the tree. Come in. <laughs> I think we're a little bit fast. No, what was that flare? No, okay, going around, going around, going around, go around. Get rid of the gear. Why am I training so much smoke? All right, now we got full flaps, gear is down, pre-landing checks. All right, coming in way fast. Bouncing, bouncing, stopping, stopping, not stopping, we're not stopping. I think the only thing, let's put the parking brake on now. And so when we land, instant brakes. And down, 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 down. Instant brakes, go instant brakes. Slow, 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 slow. Why are we slowing? 
What happened to instant breaks? I have no idea how many attempts this is now, but I've discovered something. I can put reverse thrust on in the PC-12. A lot of you out there probably discovered this several minutes ago in this episode. However, I've just learned that. So what we're going to do this time, gear down. So I'm going to get us down, pause the game, apply reverse thrust just as we're about to flare, unpause, and then see what actually happens. Even speaking it out loud, it sounds like a ridiculous idea, but let's give it a go. Coming in, looking a little bit better. All right, down. Now, apparently if I do that, oh, <gasps> yes. Reverse thrust activated and unpause. This is it guys, are you ready? Moment of truth, reverse thrust is applied. We're flaring over the runway. This is the one. I'm confident, here we go. Okay, bit of a bounce, yeah, that's fine, I understand. Okay, bounce, yeah, porpoising down the runway. This is, nose gear is gonna come off, but that's fine. It's, that will help us slow down. Why aren't you slowing? It's a nice boat trip though. Can I steer still? Okay, I've decided that the only way to land successfully at St. Bart's is to do it in an aircraft in which I'm a little bit more familiar. Welcome back to the Cirrus Vision Jet, everybody. I've given up with the PC-12. If you know what I've been doing wrong all this video, please let me know. I'm, I'm trying to use B for braking on a keyboard. I don't have any fancy equipment like a lot of you watching who are shouting at the screen right now probably do. So I'm just trying to land this thing uh, just with it like a regular computer because I'm trying to emulate what some of you might be doing if you are in a similar lockdown situation as well and you just want to kind of have a bit of aviation fun whilst we're all stuck here at home. So what I thought I'd do instead is try and land it using the... Uh... Beautiful, look at that. Ah, stop looking at your plane. Focus on the landing. All right, this is looking much better. Let's get rid of all of our thrust coming in at a nice speed getting ready to flare ready to flare flaring plonk it down there we go brakes are actually on in this aircraft and So that's the lesson everyone if at first you don't succeed go out and buy yourself a Cirrus Vision Jet. Look any tips that you got for me in X-Plane please put them in the comments down below I'm still learning it's day two. Just a bit of fun thank you for watching the video and look in all seriousness whatever you're going through at the moment if you are shut in your house like I am right now stay safe hope everything's going all right for you hope you're enjoying these videos as a bit of a light-hearted bit of entertainment for you whilst we're all stuck at home. Nothing serious obviously don't try anything I've done here in the video at home unless you're doing it in a flight sim, in which case try everything that I've done here. I'm really enjoying this though. If you're liking these videos, let me know. Give us a like if you enjoyed that. Tell me in the comments what I can do and check out my social media as well, at Steph747 on Instagram and Twitter. I'm putting polls up this week where you can help me decide which airports and which airplanes I should test next. Where should we go tomorrow? I love you little vision jet.